Welcome to part 3 of building a dynamic community member based website system brought to you by Develop PHP, created by Flash Building. And in the last section, or the last part, we, uh, we left off with creating our universal header file, that's Flash in, in this case, and yours can be all HTML and CSS. And uh, we haven't begun to dissect the home page yet. We're still designing the home page. We're going to set up some CSS. We'll add the CSS to the top and then we're going to use a CSS style sheet. We'll zap all the CSS right out of here, put it in an external style sheet. That way when we make all the other pages for the site, they'll all stick to the same CSS rules and styles. And we can all we can change everything universally to make uh, programming the site a whole lot easier when it comes to designing the layouts and changing the layouts later on, whatever. Okay, so we're in design mode and we're going to add a table. So we can go right in here. And this is something uh, a lot of developers might yell at me for using tables, but I don't care. I'm going to use it anyway. So I'm going to go to insert table right below the div here. The div align that holds the object tag for the flash file. I'm going to add a table, make it 950, the same width as our header. Two columns, one row, and pixels. Press OK. Now if we look at that and see what we get. Now let's center that by highlighting it and going down here to the properties and hit center. And let's just grab and make another one identical. Press Control C. Highlight this table, press Control C. Go over to the side there, press Control V, and you put a copy, same exact right under itself, and uh, put seven columns in this one, and that's going to be our footer. So let's just go ahead and type a few things in here. Let's say this is going to be a link. give it a make it an active link by giving it a pound sign down in the properties expect in the link section there each one and we'll define what these links are and where they go and what they say what the labels will be when we figure out what we need them to be for right now we're just getting our layout set up now let's center all those. Okay, it looks like a good footer to me. Now inside the body section, let's go ahead and throw in some break tags here. So we can extend it out. And now let's pull this over to this side. And I'm going to have this section here for ads. And on your home page, you might not want ads or anything like that. But on mine, there's going to be some ads and on most of my pages probably for the whole system. Let's see how big should that be. Let's just make it 180 for right now. And then I have this whole section to work with here. And you can lay out your structure of your table any way you need to. And but inside of this main section here on the home page is where we'll have uh all the things that we want to display about our members and things like that. Uh hot you know, flash uh, news flashes about what's going on, cool in the site, and everything like that. Whatever your site's about, maybe it's about photography, uh, community of musicians, community of graphic designers, community of webmasters, any kind of community you're making. Um, so, Let's see, let's go ahead and make this a different color here. Let's give this a background color of gray so we can see what it's going to do in the browser. Press Control S, save it, and FTP it. Index.html. And remember that the header.html, that's for the header file, the flash header file. You never have to really touch that file again, that uh, HTML file. Every time you output the flash header file it's just going to overwrite that SWF 
but it won't ever overwrite your index.html page because it's not connected to that header file directly, if that makes any sense. Every time you publish out, that header file will, will be uh, overwritten and made new. Okay, so let's go here, Web Intersect, and refresh. Okay, so now we have a 950 wide site, which might be. Yeah, that'll work because the information will be down here and the box won't be all gray like that. So let's go ahead back into Dreamweaver. Let's make that no color again. Okay, so that is. Now we're going to go ahead and make sure we get the CSS styles we want in here for the whole site. We're going to make our style sheet, uh, I mean the ones we want to start with at least. So we'll get an external style sheet set up, set up and then we'll dissect the home page and make these included template files just to make life easier for the whole system or for coding out the whole system. Okay, my site has a color scheme that I'm going to be working with, and yours would too. And these are going to be the major colors uh, that I'll be using on the site. Kind of green, orange, black, gray, and white. And so, inside of Dreamweaver, let's go ahead and set those styles up. That way we can get everything rolling right along with our CSS style sheet. And you can see here, I already have my link and I'm gonna have all this source code available in a few days when I finish this system uh, so you guys can get it all the source code so you can see what it's how it's uh, all put together without a doubt and uh, you can see I have style a folder called style and then main.css so that's gonna to have to be the directory and the file for my style sheet when I go to create it but I already sunk my link in here just so I'm ready ahead of time when I go to create it. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up some styles. We'll go and call this one, uh, say dot. Let's go down a couple more lines. Well, first, let's go to the design view and make the font and everything the way we'd want it to be. So let's go to page properties, set the default font to Arial. That's what I want. You can set yours to anything. I'm going to set the default font size to 11 pixels and see how that looks and then or maybe 12 12 pixels text color should be almost black background color is white you can just leave it like it is and it'll be white and uh, the background image, we don't have one yet. Maybe we'll put one in later. Margins are all set. Links. We're going to make our links color. Um, what color should we make our links? Let's see. I'm just going to leave them standard. So let's press apply. OK. And you can see it changed the size of our text and everything a little bit. So let's see how that looks in the browser. You always want to check and see how things are going to look in the browser and on different browsers. That looks good to me. Okay, let's let's quickly set up the colors for the site now. So we can go Actually, let's just go ahead and do it with text. So I'm just going to type out test then go down a couple of lines, test and test. Make this one the color I would like it to be, which is that which orange am I using? I forget. Let's see. Orange would be that orange there. Okay. That orange. I also want this green. And that gray is good for default but I want a lighter gray for some certain things so let's use that one okay those are the three colors I want let's go to code view and up here it popped in three styles you see that 
and so we have a design view that's gray style 4 style 3 is green style 2 is orange so let's change the name on those so they're more identifiable style 2 is orange so let's say orange color I think style 4 was the gray color and this was the green color so let's see if we get it right go down here make this one green orange something like that and the gray okay so they all have a span class orange color you see how that's gonna work and then when we set this out into its external CSS file those will still stick to those rules okay so we have some colors set up that we want and what else do we need let's just type some text into the home page so let's see I think that's all we need for the colors let's go ahead and set up the style sheet now so the file and we'll add, be adding more to it later so let's go to new basic CSS and we have a CSS document and we're going to go into the index file and snatch out all that CSS there from body all the way to the last one which was the gray color press X control X you can then get rid of all this you don't need that go here press control V file save as we need a new folder called style remember style and inside of that we name this file main main.css save go back to index press save now when we go to design we can see it's still sticking to all those rules so if we type in text we want it styled with those colors there they are even though none of those styles are in our HTML file it's in our external CSS file now so that's how we can set up our external CSS file universal CSS file for the site to make coding and laying out design a whole lot easier especially as it gets bigger and you want to add changes to the layout or design okay so you can see the meta tags I have here and like I said I'm gonna have all the source code exact for everybody to download when the systems complete or the foundation when the foundation is complete and so now we have a good start to the system or the pages anyway so we can so let's go ahead and make this link right here say home Let's make this link say, just for example, say, we'll make it say about. So about, we're going to make that go to a page about dot PHP. And now this one will go to HTTP colon slash slash www dot web intersect that'll go back to the home page and this one will go here sure let's make it go to the full URL there okay now we'll set up the includes and dissect this bad boy by making them these uh, this footer and the header included files so all we have to do is go to file new PHP dynamic PHP and go to code view zap all that out of there go back to design view now we'll go to index let's grab the header let's go into the code grab that div align center right there the whole div tag opening and closing tags press control X 
leave a little space so we're going to be adding something there in a second and let's go to that untitled file go back into code view pop all that code in now go to file save as back in the root directory we're going to name this uh, header tmplt for short for template header template eh, let's just name it full template header template and it's PHP in the root directory save okay now we turn the index.html into an index.php so we say save as index dot php instead of html save and now we go into the code view here again and right there between or above the uh, the body table there we're going to add php tag which is going to be this is how we're going to include our header and footer into all of our pages universally and any other things that we want include underscore once and then we can just type in two double quotes semicolon and then close off the PHP tags and right here we're gonna include oops sorry we already typed that this is gonna be the uh, header template template.php so that's how it's going to work. And if we press save, we have our header template here. We can test it out and I can prove it to you that it's going to work. We just put up index.php. Let's remove index.html here. Delete it. Yes. And let's go on the web and you can see that it's gone. See? Now let's go back to uh, FTP, the index.php and the header template file now and now if we go back refresh ta-da the header is now oh I forgot we need our CSS folder just bring that whole style folder right over it's got the main uh, cascading style sheet in it so uh, let's go ahead and refresh again now and we'll have our margin set back okay that looks great. Now when we click this, now what we have to do, let me show you the handiness of this now. Well we'll go back into header into the index design view. Let's do the same to this. Control X, highlight the table, control X, file, new, PHP, and we're in design view. Let's go into code zap that out, go back to design view press control V, pop that table right back in make sure it's just the table in the code view and let's save this as footer template and it's a PHP file make sure it's PHP save it now we include it just like we did that one we can just grab that press control C go down underneath the table for the body section and footer template footer template so you rename that include once footer template and you can include or include once which it's very literal what it means here it just includes a file once you can include a file many times on a web page but this makes sure it only includes it once okay let's go ahead and put this up now let's uh, file index.php now we'll go and refresh and you'll see that there's no footer because our template's not up remember so we FTP the footer template footer template header template everything's up now we'll refresh. There's our footer. 
our header and our body sections all set up now create a new page index.php our home page let's save that as about dot php and press save now it's about dot php all you have to do is change the keywords to whatever about web intersect I'll put more later description is about web intersect and uh, right here the title about web intersect and so now we have you can make 20 30 pages this way and they'll all have the same header and footer and I'll show you let's go put this uh, where is it about.php let's go back to the web let's refresh the home page click about and there it is here we are on about.php you can see we have the same exact header the same exact footers let's click home goes back to webintersect.com the home page so you can see the handiness of that as you're going to be building a bigger system you won't have to change these you go straight into these little footer and header files and make all the changes or additions you want and uh, you FTP that back up to the server and all hundred pages that you have all hundred thousand pages however many pages you have will all be updated at once that's the handiness that's why I had to take all the time to show you guys this because uh, you know some people are having trouble understanding how all the files are connected and how things are included using PHP and uh, so yeah that pretty much wraps up part three and we'll in part four um, I think I said we'll make the registration form in part three but I don't think we'll have time to squeeze it into this video we'll squeeze it I'll squeeze it into the next one and I'll make it directly after right now so uh, yeah, next one we'll create the registration form that puts the members information into our member database and then we can really get moving with this thing.